While the budget is still to be presented, many ministers are aware of their allocations and are satisfied. One such person is Minister of Community Development, Nizambash. I've been given money to undertake my self-help project, uh, community development funding, to assist communities like these, uh, who have been suffering for many years now, and we intend to address these. Um, I don't recall the, the figures, but from what we heard and um, we are aware of, I think I'm satisfied. He says several projects that were planned by the former PNM government but never delivered will be his focus. One of them will be the building, renovations and repairs of community centers. We've been given um, funding too for community centers, which uh, a massive project has started with something like 99 centers. Uh, under the last regime and we are addressing some of those issues there because they seem to be concentrated all on, on the east-west corridor and in Port of Spain and none outside of these areas. So I'm going to address that imbalance. Stephen Cadiz, who heads the Trade and Industry Ministry, says his allocation will be used to create sustainable jobs. And there's all kinds of ways and means that we can provide work for people here. In the, um, in the community of Lopino, which means it will be self-sustainable and it means therefore that the communities will remain here rather than trying to, to leave. The development of regional and foreign trade is also high on his agenda. For CNC3, I am Samuel McKnight.